First at noon, the damage has been done after flames erupt inside an apartment overnight. Two people inside lucky to be alive to escape. The people inside escaped to the flames but had to be rushed to the hospital suffering from serious burns. And now investigators are trying to figure out what caused all of it. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live outside of the apartment in Miami with the latest. Peter. Well, Carly, the fire department says that five adults and one child have been displaced. They're being helped right now as we speak by the Red Cross. Two people were hospitalized. We spoke with a woman who called 911. I'm literally next door, yeah. Oh, my God, it was so scary in that moment. Gemma Mendoza said she saw the flames erupting at this apartment building on Northwest 37th Street at 4th Avenue and immediately called 911. It was around 6 in the morning. I just only heard some screaming, somebody screaming, and then when I saw on the, on the window, I saw fire. Yeah, I was only on the floor, but when I called 911, I saw that all the building was burning. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I freak out. <laughs> then Mendoza heard screaming and realized that these two people had been burned. I just only hear, yeah, like, what? What we understand is that while responding to this call, one of our paramedic units came across two people who they found about a block away that appeared to have some burn injuries. They were transported to the Ryder Trauma Center. Fire investigators are not only investigating this scene here, but we'll look and see if the two victims that we found uh, a block away are related to this incident. A look inside the building shows some extensive damage. Captain Ignatius Carroll Jr. of Miami Fire Rescue says firefighters responded quickly. And when the units arrived, they found three separate uh, apartment buildings with uh, heavy smoke and flames coming from one of the rear units. Firefighters concentrated their efforts on trying to contain this fire to that one unit, preventing the spread to some of the adjacent units. And within about 10 to 15 minutes, they were able to bring this fire under control. Now, I just got off the phone with Captain Carroll. He tells me it's not known what caused this blaze and also, again, what connection those two burned people had to this building if they were residents. They are in serious condition right now at Jackson Memorial Hospital. We're live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.